Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the internal architecture of LM741. So you can see this is very complex circuit. So we will we will understand how this circuit works. What is the internal circuitry of LM741? This is most commonly used IC operational amplifier IC in the industry so we will understand how this circuit complex circuit works what is the input voltage what is the gain of this circuit and what is the output of this circuit okay so I will run the simulation in LT spice and I will show you the input signals I will show you the output signals and at the end I will explain the behavior of this circuit so this is going to be very interesting video today right we will we are going to understand a very complex circuit if you understand this circuit so you can see here this is this is v3 and we have some sinusoidal signal you can see here the amplitude of this signal is one volt and the frequency is one kilohertz right this is the sinusoidal signal and you can see you can say this is the input signal to your amplifier and your input is connected let us say this is non inverting terminal of your amplifier so it is connected to the plus terminal you can see this is in plus that means non inverting terminal right you can see this is i n minus that is inverting terminal and it is grounded okay so in the amplifier you have two signals two input signals inverting and non-inverting so your non-inverting signal is connected with one volt one kilohertz sinusoidal signal and you can see here your inverting terminal is grounded with 1k and you can see from here to here if you come here and add the output that means this is your feedback circuitry r11 is connected to the your feedback circuitry so so if you if you know the formula for non-inverting term in non-inverting amplifier so v out equals to v in times 1 plus rf divided by r1 that means 1 plus r11 divided by r12 if you do so your gain is here 1 plus 10k divided by 1k that means your gain is 11 so so to to make you understand your input signal is one volt and you should get your output signal here is since your gain is 11 your output signal should be 11 so i will run the simulation later and i will show you both these signals now let us understand the internal circuitry of this this amplifier right so you can see here this is case code differential amplifier stays so you can see q1 q2 and it is connected to with here q3 so this stage is called case code differential amplifier and you can see this is this two transistor you can see here this two transistor is in the current connected in the current mirror fashion and you can also see here this two transistor is connected in the current mirror fa fashion and if you come down about and you can see these two transistor again back to back this is the current mirrored load circuitry and again you can see here this two transistor is connected in the same fashion so it is also a current mirror circuitry now if you come here you can see the voltage reference of this circuitry okay so this this transistor makes a voltage difference voltage sorry voltage reference for this circuitry okay what is that this is voltage reference now if you come down this q6 q15 that means darlington common emitter amplifier so by using this transistor this make the stage of darlington common emitter amplifier and finally q18 q20 and q19 this makes the push pull emitter follower output so you have stage of case code differential amplifier then you can see here the current mirror you can see here the current mirror load load and you can also see the current mirror 
then you can see here current mirror voltage reference darlington common emitter amplifier and finally you have for the output push pull emitter follower output right so now let me explain you how what where is the supply for this circuit so you can see v2 is plus 15 volt dc voltage and you can see here minus 15 volt that is v1 so you have your supply voltage plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt you have your input signal and you have this internal circuitry of lm741 okay so everything you have now what i'm gonna to do is i am going to run the transient analysis for this circuit and i will show you what is the input voltage here and what is the output voltage so to, so to run this transient analysis you go need to go here simulate edit simulation command and you can see here the transient selected here and the stop time is 10 millisecond now directly i am going to run the simulation so i have run the simulation here let me zoom these two window and let me divide 2 into 2 plot pane first for input so this is your input voltage and let me show you here the output voltage right so let me change the color for output voltage okay so you can see your input voltage is what is the amplitude for your input voltage you can see this is one volt and what is the amplitude for your output voltage and this is exactly 11 volt that means you have gain of 11 so if your input voltage is 1 your output voltage is 12 let me show you the frequency for this so attach the cursor and if you're going to attach the cursor attach the cursor here and this cursor should move here right so let me show you what is the frequency you can get here this is saying that the frequency is 1 kilohertz okay so your input frequency was 1 kilohertz i have shown you here this is the sinusoidal with the amplitude of 1 volt and frequency of 1 kilohertz so you are getting at output the same frequency with amplified amplified uh, amplified voltage 